30 seconds until minions spawn. is looking spicy Scion die he still runs at them that's kind of all I have to offer isn't it oh it's even spicier that we actually lost that hmm um I guess it's better if we all just like if we're sitting in this bush when they invade we just hard win because Scion hit lands a five man Q. But because they got like, got to see the Scion walk up, it's it's not as good. <clears throat> I also guess I shouldn't have recalled, huh? That's kind of trolling me. Okay, uh, Nemesis, I'm gonna ban you, my man. Like that's such a terrible comment that. I'm gonna stop my game real quick to ban you. A summoner has disconnected. A summoner has reconnected. I don't care if I literally die in game right now. I want to make sure that you are banned. Alright, we are getting a bit of a weird start to this game uh, because we had somebody in the chat spamming really inappropriate things, so before the game can continue, I had to make sure I banned them. Uh, but we are in the middle of a brand game, believe it or not. We are running Dark Harvest, uh, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Mana Flow, Scorch, 2 Adaptive Force, and 1 Armor. Um, playing brand this game because uh, we have a full AD team. And our team desperately needed some AP, so here we are. I really do enjoy playing me some brand. I don't get to play it all too often uh, because opportunities like this don't really present themselves too often. Uh, but excited we get to pull it out here. Kind of a weird start. Again, I had to. I didn't have any mods in the chat, and there was someone spamming some really inappropriate stuff, so I had to put a pause on the game to make sure I was moderating my chat. Um, so yeah, weird start to the game, but that's what we got going on. We also had an invade level one, which went one for one. So it's just a really sloppy game all over the place. And come to think of it, I probably should have just recalled there instead of sticking around because I'm sitting on 500 gold. Um, one bright side is, is I already have three Dark Harvest decks. Um, I also like my carry potential on brand. So if I am going to be solo AP and the game is going to fall on me to dish out a lot of damage, I'll take those chances. But let's get uh, refocused here. Let's get back on track. Okay, so Seraphine did not sidestep that. I wonder if that's something that she's going to continue to do the rest of the game. Or if that was just like a one-time thing. But we'll monitor that. I like to believe that some people, or at least most people, are a sidestep or not sidestep kind of person. So once you can identify that, you can... Um, or at least should be able to hit skill shots on them for the most of the game. Ah, damn it. Uh, two for one. All right. My bad, guys. I, I'm a little, I'm a little off right now. Just did not expect someone to just like randomly stroll into the chat, into the chat, and just start saying like a bunch of hateful stuff. So my mind, my mind's a little off right now. <laughs> Got to try to you know refocus a little bit, focus on the game that we have here. I think uh, two for one is not terrible, but now we are even further behind. So 
Gonna have to mount a bit of a comeback here. Lane phase is not going the way we wanted to, especially because when you're playing brand, you kind of need to win lane. How's Amumu back already? Oh, he died. That's right. All right, let's move behind. Let's get this up. I feel like Amu is probably just spam pinging for ganks right now. And so we could probably expect another one pretty shortly here. It's kind of surprising, though, to see, like, this lane matchup actually working. Because Seraphine typically just wants to sit back and farm. And Amumu wants to go all in. So they don't accomplish the same thing. But it's working. Maybe we can get our own jungler to come pretty sometime soon. Maybe we even let this one push, but it's kind of awkward to let it push as brand because you're constantly looking for poke and your poke does AOE, so you're going to naturally be pushing in waves. Vi's got to be around six soon, right? Oh, man. This is legal? Damn. So out of all those abilities I landed, I guess I didn't space them out well, or I spaced them out too much. Because I never once procced my passive. That's kind of awkward. Yes. I think we just shove this in because they're doing dragon. Actually, can't we contest? They're low still. Yeah, we can literally fight this. Okay, at least we got something for it. Maybe like a plate or two before we recall. Yeah, I don't know why I, I was hesitating there. Like, obviously we could fight that, right? I think just one plate now. Graves could still be nearby. I'm out of mana. Does he die to burn? He's not. Damn. Okay, really close. Good job. Winnable. <coughs> oh, shit. Okay, so I'm really happy that worked out. I want to explain why was I not using any abilities that whole time? Well, I didn't have much mana and I had enough mana to cast my Q, my W, and my E, but not my ulti. So I decided to wait, not use anything, and then uh, cast my ulti when it was up. And it ended up working out. I, I just thought it's more valuable to just wait for that one spell. If I'm only going to have enough mana to use one spell, might as well make it my best ability, right? I feel like my Malphite is, or this Malphite is going to kill him. Okay. One for one, that's fine. These guys are just playing so disrespectful. I, this should not be legal. Unless they're setting up for a dive, that's the only thing that makes sense. But if they have nobody here, they cannot do this. Is it wrong that I want this kill? No, not really. It, it's it, like I automatically have that thought process because I'm playing support, but I'm solo AP on my team. Like I need to be able to do damage. The fact that I took the cannon as well though on accident was a bit much I would say. 
Yeah, that was just so illegal of them. I don't know what they were doing. They were like shoving the wave and like walking up so far as if they had graves here and they were gonna dive. I think even if we don't have Vi, we just clean up there. Super, super disrespectful. Okay. Uh, I feel like we've, we've kind of calmed down a little bit. We've got our mind uh, refocused on the game. I think we are, uh, we're, we're looking good. I would really like Rift Herald. Never mind. Why would I even open my mouth? Maybe I can look here, but then Graves could also potentially be here, so I have to watch out for that a little bit. Very nice. Uh, yeah, if Malphite is going to rush Frozen Heart, I'm, I need to be able to do damage, right? I mean, that just makes sense. Um, this is a little dumb, because it's going to prevent me from potentially getting a uh, Leandris quicker. I'm literally 100 gold away. And as much as I'd like to just buy a Leandris right now, I can't. So I want to make sure I can buy something, or else it feels really weird to go back to base and not spend any money at all. So I grab that, and hopefully next time I go back to base, I have enough money to buy that Leandris, or else that sent me back a lot. Yeah, I mean, look at this. They're all rushing armor. So oh, wait. Why does he have a no magic mantle? Makes no sense. Is he really that concerned about me? I'm the only AP on my team, and I'm a support that gets no gold income. I kind of want to sit here for when Amumu comes, and I can maybe do some damage to him, unless he walks all the way around. He's probably walking all the way around. Okay, let's just push this. Maybe we can look for tower. We can look for dragon. I'm good to fight right now. Oh, that's illegal. No. Oh, maybe it's not. I mean, I did a ton of damage there, actually. Wow, they were behind us? How weird is that? My Q hit the Seraphine. I needed that to hit the Graves, but if I'm blinded, it's really hard for me to do. Uh, a really good fight for me, I would say. I get my Leandries, so that purchase earlier didn't hurt us. Um, just good setup by them, I, I suppose. I didn't really have any wards. I don't know where I put my wards. And Actually, you know what? I had one here, I had one there. Double kill. So yeah, I just didn't really have my vision around the right area. I had it prepped for a bot play. Um, but definitely not in our in our own jungle. That was a bit weird. Maybe just like if I have a control ward in this bush, we can probably prevent the whole play from happening, right? Uh, I can't afford to miss that, can I? Nope, we're good. Okay, Rampage, 417. Uh, one thing that can really suck about playing Brand at times is you really need your core two items, which is your uh, Leandries and your Rylice, which if you get off to a fast start like this, you can get, but if you get off to a slow start, it takes forever sometimes to get those items. So we already got the Leandries this early on. And the, the Rylize is a bit of a cheaper item, so we should be able to pick that up pretty quick. If we fight here, we actually do win. I just don't think they'll actually let us fight. I think they're just trying to prevent us from recalling. We grab that, we grab that. Um, still do have to be very careful, though, because they have a lot of Wombo combo potential. Potential. Um, a lot of potential to just burst us down immediately. 
Amumu, oh wow, why are you going in when you see Seraphine and Amumu right there? What? Spam pinging Riven, like what, man? Like, huh? Positioning is going to be really, really important for me this game. If they go in on my teammates, I just kill everybody. If they go in on me, I need to make sure I get a full combo off before I die. That's kind of the main thing. And I did not get a full combo off before I died. Okay. I didn't do anything right there other than get one shot, but my team did a really good job of making up for it. I thought I was safe because I had Scion there, and they weren't really, like, responding as if they knew Scion was there, so I didn't think they had vision of me, but I think they had vision of me and Scion. So that's the one thing I can't afford to do. Luckily, we still won the fight. I didn't realize actually, but my Zaya has quite a few kills as well. She probably can't just kill me. Close. Yeah, I'm down to do Rift. Um, just gotta be a little careful because we're kind of choked out of a lot of vision here. Oh, they're on it. I killed a Mumu somehow. Um, okay. Really awkward fight. Um, I wanted to prep for Rift. I did not actually think they were on Rift, to be honest. And so, I just, it, it's really hard for me to go get vision by myself. I kind of need someone in front of me. So I, I wanted to go this direction to get vision. And then I realized that they were on it. And then the whole team was kind of split. It was just a really awkward fight. And I was coming in from an awkward angle. I think it was just bad communication overall with my team as far as setting up vision and, and how we wanted to approach the fight. So I didn't have a front line and I had to kind of hang off to the side by myself. Hopefully we can handle this uh, dragon a little bit better. We push mid, we get vision around here. I have teammates with me, so hopefully I don't just get one shot and die. Yeah, again, not really handling this vision well. And I think it has a lot to do with my top lane or my jungler. Mainly my jungler, like... Oh, that's so bad of me. I panicked because I thought I was getting all in. Oh, man. I need my Vi to walk up into the jungle and help me get vision. I'm a brand. I cannot do this by myself. And we're split up again. I don't have my ulti. This is not looking good. I think this is just loss. I think we give this. This is losing. I think poking is fine, but I don't see an all-in angle here. They still have, like, all ultis too, don't they? Yeah, just keep poking. I'm cool with that. Just gotta watch out for Baron now. 
Wait, this is illegal though. That's really, really illegal. Uh, Baron is up though, that's where they're running. I think this is my ward down, so we should see them going. What? No! This is super, super in from them, though. They can't do this. There's no way they have the damage for this. They don't have a ADC. Maybe it's not super into them. Maybe they just kill us all. What did I get Wombo comboed with? Was it just Malphite R? Okay. We actually won it somehow. I guess that's the thing about playing Brand. Like I like to say, if you die, if you get your full combo off, you should be fine. If you get more than one combo off when you're playing Brand, you should win fights. But one combo is what you're what you need to get off. It's okay if you die as long as you get a full combo off. Okay, big. So bad positioning on my end. I should not be able to just get ulted by Malphite and get one shot and die. Um, but I, at least I got my combo off before I died. And other than the Merc Treads, I'm not seeing a whole lot of C or, uh, match resist come out of them. So I should be able to Shred. I also have my core build done now too. So I don't know why we're not grouping, but when we group, we should just win. I think my, uh, my job here is done. Full combo, I killed one person. Maybe not. My science top, my auction's just doing a whole lot of nothing, man. I really don't understand why we're not all mid together. We took so long to group. And even then, Scion's still not grouping. <laughs> what is this? Uh, yeah, games today have not been have not been great. Uh, we're 0-3 on the day so far. What is my Zaya doing? What is my auction doing? Why are people just, like, refusing to ever take blame for anything? Why don't we just group with Baron? I feel like Zai and I are the only people on our team that were doing anything correct there. You have Baron, you group. Okay, this might be a little int. Uh, but what I want to do is... Uh, I want to get a quick recall off before this dragon... And I want a stopwatch because I feel like this is going to be a big fight. So I dropped my wards off, recalled to get new wards, um, grabbed the stopwatch, and now I regroup. Can you just please TP early?
I got a huge combo off before Riven went on me. Big. Big, big, big. Hit the Malphite just because he was who was in front of me, but then once he ulted away, I got a huge ulti off. Riven went on me. I stopwatched so we can kill her. That's why the purchase was really, really big there. Like I said earlier, if you get more than one combo off on Brand in a team fight, you should win. Now, here's one thing I, I always struggle with when it comes to Dark Seal is I don't know what's actually better, having this on me right now, or having this. I think it's got to be the Arm Guard, I think. But did I just sell too much value in my Dark Seal? I really don't know. I think... We can honestly flip Baird. I think we're that much stronger than them right now. Positioning, good combos. I'm on a short fuse. Please be last cone. There is. We surprise. Huge. Yeah, good positioning, good combos, multiple combos off in one team fight. It's like the ultimate secret to playing Brand. If you're gonna die, make sure you get off one combo. If you don't die and you get off multiple combos, you win. It's that simple. So just, if you play Brand, you focus on your positioning. Try not to get one shot. You are probably going to die. It's very likely, because you're very mobile and you're a mage, and you have to get rotations off in order to be useful. Uh, that's, that's like the main objective. What's up, Teach? The nature of League of Legends players, they all think they're the only one doing the right thing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I try. I mean, even I do that sometimes. I, I think I can get caught up in, um, you know, what other people are doing wrong, and I don't really focus enough on what I'm doing wrong. But I try my hardest to take blame and take responsibility when I do something wrong. Like, me walking here right now is actually really dangerous. Because I don't have eyes on a lot of people on their team, so I could get one shot. And if I did get one shot, I would take responsibility for it. Wow. Was that Scion or me that did all the damage? I honestly don't even know. We are chilling. That should be GG. We enter mid. Really, really solid stuff. 0-3 on the day so far, but got put in a position as a support to carry, being the only person building AP on the team. Not a position I get to be in often, but made the most out of it. GG. That's actually really cool. I like the auction just spinning around endlessly to end the game. Yeah. <laughs>